Greetings from Atolia and welcome back to the Aerial Heights channel. Now, a lot has happened, but really what has happened is I have basically whacked a bunch of rocks, whacked a bunch of stones, and sort of made all of the boring stuff whilst the videos were recording, which is good. Because now it means I have, as you can see at the very bottom, I have 50 tranquilizer darts. I now have my preserving bin over here. And my other bin over here doesn't actually have any meat in it, so I kind of need some meat at some point. But either way, I have made a whole bunch of stuff and basically stored a whole bunch of stuff, as you can see right here. So I've got like 10,000 stacks, which is the max one you possibly can store inside of a stack. And I've got a bunch of them inside of here. Now I'm going to take 50. Should I take 50 or should I take more than 50? I'm not sure. I'm thinking, well, we need to be able to take the 11 stack. Because what we want to do today is I want to go get a bird. I really want to go get a bird, because with a bird I can go get some crystals, and I can easily mine those little um, trollite things, whatever they were called, quite easily. I can I can get I can kill them and get oil from them, so I don't necessarily need to go and find oil with the bird, although I can do that also, because all I have to do really is sort of just go around to a location that might have it, and uh, go from there. And also, if I end up getting crystals, I get a fabricator, so I can get scuba gear a bit easier, and go from there. So I reckon the place that I need to do this in is a place up here. Now, I have some more plans for myself, for my base. And the plans basically involve me not having that stone base down there, and building a base in the area up here. And building this base out of metal, I think that's what we need to do next, to be honest with you. The only thing is with metal is the fact that it costs a hell of a lot of stuff, like keratin and cementing paste and blah de blah de blah but I reckon that is a much better sort of mid-game type thing. Well, mid-game slash end-game, because this is probably going to be the last base I'll actually end up making. So first, start with the wood one you started the first episode, and then I uh, have the, uh, the stone one down there, which actually you can see from here. The behemoth walls are really, really tall. Right, okay, I'm going to jump on this rock over here to see if I can find a bird. Anyway, I reckon up here somewhere, I should make, like, because look at this place, it's really large and really flat. I reckon I could start making a base up to here that would be relatively uh, nice and relatively big and have a bunch of dinosaurs in there quite easily. So, let's go up here and let's see if I can see a bird anywhere. There's a bird in the distance over there, I think. Nope, can't quite see anything right here and now. So, let's take out, actually, let's take out that instead, shall I? So, we've got our tranquilizers. That was quite good, actually. Did actually load in the tranquilizer into the actual gun there. Okey cokey. So, I don't know where, where or how we're ever going to be able to do this because of the simple fact that. Ooh, okay. Those are bugs that are going to start to attack me, probably. So, that's one bad thing about being up here is that I think that uh, this place here has non herbivores that will try to attack me like those bugs. Ooh, like the bug right there might start to try to attack me now. I can't see if it's going to though. I don't think it actually is. Okie cokey. So, I don't seem to find any, see any birds here, which is one thing. I don't seem to see a single one around here whatsoever. And I'm kind of waiting for one to sort of land. I mean, what I could do is I could see whereabouts there's going to be a mountain of some sort and then go from there because they'll probably end up landing up tall with their nests or whatever. I reckon I could probably make a saddle as well for these. I'm hoping I can. Ooh, I don't want to get too close to these insects because they will try to attack me, I believe. I don't know whether they actually will because I've not really... Um, every single insect I've come across has attacked me. So I've not ever come across and got close to an insect that hasn't tried to attack me as of yet. Now, I have upgraded my stamina quite a bit. I reckon there's rocks and mineable there, aren't they? Yes, they look like they actually are. Ooh, okay, there's actually a uh, thing right there. Do you see it? It hasn't yet come down yet, but there's a, uh, a package or something over there. Shall I go this way, not that way? I'm not quite sure. Can I climb up this rock over here? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, there's a dinosaur there. What kind of dinosaur are you? Oh, you're a trike. 
Okay, I can get you in three of these darts. Which I suppose might be one way of actually getting this thing, is just to literally go around with a whole bunch of trikes, which I could in theory do, to be fair, because it takes three of these darts, and I've got 50 of them right now. Are these even mineable? Because these look mineable, these lot do. Okay, well, I'm not going to mine them, because I would like to... Ooh, bugger! I would like to not die there. How much did I actually take there, damage-wise? Oh, I took, like, 20 damage? That's not terrible, to be fair. Okay, we're going into dangerous territory here, though. Because this area over here has a lot of those spitter guys. I know they only take two of these things, though. So, it's not the worst thing in the world. And once I get them down, I can actually uh, just take them for their meat. And maybe do that with a few of them. So, I'm not entirely sort of... At this point, I'm not too afraid of being over here. Because of that reason. I can't get up there, can I? No, I cannot. Ooh. Is that something? Oops, something's following me. Bunch of things are following me. Drones. Are these bugs that are going to try to kill me? Yes, they are. Okay, then. Level 44 and level 19 and level 16. They're not actually doing much to me, though, are they? No. And one dart didn't get them, which is a little bit weird, considering one dart can get some things. Oh, bug it. I hear... Bees. And this is actually uh, a point where I should probably mention that I am skeptophobic. So I don't like the sound I'm currently hearing. Where are the bees? Oh god, I've been poisoned. Ooh. I don't like the sound here. It's the sound here I don't like here. Okay, come on. I, I can get you, I think. If I can get you with enough of these, I reckon I can get you. Ooh, where are you? You're over here. Can I get you? Can I get in then with that one? Come on, what are you? I need to see you. That's three darts in him right now. How many darts does this guy take? It's a good job I've got a whole lot of health, isn't it? There's only one of these guys, so it's not too bad. I think there's only one of these guys. Shall I run away a bit so I can actually... Come on, that's got, that's got to be now, obviously. Surely. Surely now, that's got to be enough for you. How many of these things can these guys actually take? I'm encumbered now. Brilliant. Oh, I'm encumbered and now I am actually slowly dying because of... I'm not entirely sure why. Okay. Oh, because I'm poisoned. How about... Stop moving, you're tired. I'm gonna try and just kill this guy. What the frick is happening here? What level is this guy? Oh my dear lord. I can't run away. I can't do anything here. Oh, I killed him. Eventually I killed him. But I'm now I'm actually dying. So let's just quickly uh Consume these. Can I consume these? Come on. Can this, will this help? I don't know whether this will actually help here. I don't know how much I've been poisoned. And what this actually does to me. I don't think I actually can tell, can I? Doesn't look really like it. But I've got loads of health. Blueprint metal sign. Pointless. But I guess I'll take it. And is there anything here to kill me? Usually there's dangerous things around these things. I don't think there is here and now. Now I'm slowly dying. Nope, I'm slowly getting healthier. Okay. I'm going to see what we can do then. So, I don't think, think I can probably see a bird from here. Nope, doesn't look likely. So you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to go and try to... Oh, Christ, let's not try to tame this... Actually, I probably could try to tame this trite. But, oh, but yeah, am I stuck now behind this? Well, I can't do that. That's fine, I can jump out of the way. 
Are you stuck there, Trike? Like, what, what are you? Are you female? Everything, every single track I've noticed so far has always been female. Just a little bit weird, I suppose. Let's see if I can get you then. One, two... Ah, oh, two did it. Fair enough then. Two gets you, and that's good enough for me. Let's drag your stuff in here and go from there then, shall we? Okie okay, dokie, okay. so, not exactly what I wanted to happen, realistically speaking, although this guy's going to tame really quickly here, which is obviously better. I'm still sort of dying somewhat, I'm not sure how, or what from now. I don't know whether this effect is just going to continually go on here, it probably is, isn't it? It's in level 4, that's probably the reason why, isn't it? And it's all unconscious, okay. I'm gonna wait until I can rename this guy. There we go. Let's rename this guy that and have them following me. There might be a situation when in which I have to sort of do this off. Oh, there's a bird right there and it's flying. Is he gonna fly anywhere near me? That is the question. I can go wait for him to land. You see it there? Just there. There's a few birds over here. Yes, there are. I don't know whether they're going to try to attack me, as a note, or whether they're going to try to fly away. All I know is that they are birds and they're over there. Or they're flying dinosaurs, rather. Now, I can't really traverse over here because there are definitely sharks. I can't really transfer it over here and he's about to land, isn't he? Or she. Is it probably about to land over there? I can't really traverse this area. I will die. The sharks will get me. Okay. Wait for this one or this one to run out of stamina and land. Now what dinosaurs are also over there? So there's the herbivores, the parasaurs there. There's a trike. There's those turtle thingies that don't really attack you, but if you attack them they are like... Ooh, okay, there's one there that's landed. Oh, we're going to risk it though. Let's have a look under the water. I don't see anything. I'm going to have to risk it. Hopefully I don't get attacked by a creature. I've got quite good health. So hopefully um, if I do get attacked by it, it will attack me and go in this direction. Okay. I want to go and get that bird. If I can possibly do so. Okay. Was there a creature about to get me? I don't think so. Where was this bird? It landed over here somewhere, didn't it? I don't see it. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to wait for this bird to land then, I think. Yes, I think we are. So how about... Okay. We do a little bit of a jump cut over to when it's just landed, which is just now. It's around this corner right here. Is he going to try to attack me? I kind of want it to try to attack me, to be fair. Because if he tries to attack me... Oh, one did it? Oh my god, one did it! Okay, we need meat now. Because I don't think it actually eats anything but meat. So what we need for meat is we need to go and grab one two of these and then we can uh, harvest this thing there we go harvest through that trike and now I'm gonna run over and give the meat from the trike over to the bird I can't remember the bird is though is the bird still gonna be unconscious do you think it was over here somewhere it wasn't far into the actual there Give it that, let's give it that, and hopefully one of them actually will do it. So we need to give it some narco and just force feed it. Because you see down the bottom there, there's the tall pole there, which is actually like dizziness and like a uh, sort of awareness. I don't know what, what is actually the word? I mean, tall pole is the only word for it really, isn't it? But you know what I mean, like basically they'll, they'll faint if the tall pole gets to the top, essentially. 
So this thing hopefully will eat something that I just gave it. Ah, Peter PT. Do we have a saddle for the PT? PT? Yes, we do. It's right there. What does it require to make? PT. PT. Just requires some. There we go. Fine. Some ch chatlin, which is all. Been, which is not too bad. And I have tamed it. Okay. So what we're going to name it? We're going to name it. Uh, flying thing. And we're going to set it to followers. Set aggression to neutral. And come on, you're going to follow us. And I need to figure out whether or not he eats meat or whether or not he eats berries as well. That's something that I need to do. Now, I need to also make sure I survive getting across here. So I'm hoping that I do. No oh Christ. There doesn't seem to be any creature but the turtles under here so hopefully i get across here pretty much fine i'm hoping that i do anyway so that bird is somewhere around me so i've now at least achieved something this episode i've actually got myself a bird and we're actually going to i'm actually going to fly on this bird what level is he actually can't see level something seven 17 17 is not the best because that means he hasn't got a lot of stamina but either way, we might be able to make this work for us, so how about we stop here? Wait, could you stop? There's a way of doing this, isn't there? Uh, you hold a button, I think. Okay, okay, so if you join me back, I've now figured out a bunch more of the controls, but more to the point, I can actually get... Let's close this outside door, shall we, first? I've now figured out how to actually get the saddle. And I'm now going to get the saddle onto flying thing. Cripple saddle to ride, so PT... And Theron goes onto there. I don't know what he actually eats, so I have no idea about this lot. So let's just try to ride this guy. How much stamina does this guy actually have? How do you actually... Can I go? Forward. Go. Ooh, not that one. What do I do? Oh, it's encumbered. I see. It's totally encumbered because I put way too much stuff on him. And his weight is really, really low. So, I'm going to take off the narco berries, take off this here and just drop them. Which now brings him down to there. I'm going to... If I take off this 37, will that do much to him? That weight does a little bit. Hmm. I don't know what he actually eats, though. That's the problem. Okay. Let's go give... Where's the little shits? Little guys, sorry. Little spitters, whatever I called them. Here. Little spitters. How about I give you half of this meat, then, instead? And you the other half of this meat. Okay, now let's try to fly. Now he's a little bit encumbered. But I can somewhat fly now. Okay. And the amount of energy required to do this is really, really low. Which is a good thing. Because I need to go and find myself some crystals. And I defecated whilst on the back of this bird. But okay. So now we're sort of seeing the environment much more clearly now. And much more uh, in tune with one another. So there's a mountain over there. And there's a probably... Is that a closer mountain over there? I think that's a closer mountain over there. Which is probably where we can find some crystal. So let's go find some crystal, shall we? On the night sky. I will need to land at some point, but not anywhere time now because of the fact that his stamina... What is his stamina actually at? Stamina is at 390. It's currently at 370 though, obviously the maximum is 390. I should be able to get all the way over there, if provided I am uh, not going to speed up. Although I am starving now. 
Do I have anything? He has stuff, doesn't he? I could nick half of those. Ooh, these are actually hills here as well. So we'll be able to land on one of these hills temporarily. Restore our stamina back up and go from there, won't I? And there's another bird there. And some kind of... What is that? No idea. Doesn't seem to want to attack me though. Okay, so there's metal rocks right there. They're not crystal rocks. Oh, bug it. We got some uh, insects visiting us then. And we've got this volcano type mountain thing here. Ooh, snowy area over there. And something here. What are these do? I want to quickly get off here whilst he restores and see what actually these actually give me. Just loads of metal. Okay, fair enough then. I can't really store this metal on me because... Uh, Go up, go up, go up, go up. Oh, I'm encumbered. No, I'm not encumbered. I'm not that encumbered. I'm a little bit encumbered. Drop the metal. Okay. I'm now not encumbered whatsoever. My health is now a little better. But that there is a saber-toothed tiger or something, was it? Some kind of tiger type thing. That was trying to attack me. Okay. So. I think the next episode we're going to root for crystals. I have no idea where crystals are. They are somewhere on this map. I might have to research whereabouts they actually are. That might be a thing that I have to do. Removed two raw meat. I guess the thing eats meat then. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, I reckon that's the way we're going to do things then here. Because there doesn't seem to be any crystals anywhere near where I am now. That's probably going to be in the middle of a place that is dangerous, I imagine. And, uh, that's probably where we're going to leave everything, I reckon. So, I need to, next episode, find some bloody crystals. Hopefully I can do that. Oh, Christ. Can we land over here on the, at the edge of this? Shouldn't be too dangerous. I'm hoping this isn't going to be too dangerous. I'm not sure what that thing there is, but uh, I'm hoping it's not going to try to attack me. Doesn't matter now, because I can fly in the air. Let's do one thing then with him. Let's get his weight right the way up, shall we? Because weight is important for these birds. Or at least for my purpose with these birds. Okay. I think I'm somewhere over there. But I'm not entirely certain. Because I recognise that uh, obelisk type thing guy. So I reckon I'm somewhere over this forest right here. See, there's forest over here. I reckon I'm somewhere over there. But yeah. I think this works. I think this is it. I think this is where we are. Hmm. Need to find crystals. I don't think I'm going to be able to find crystals this episode. It should be alright, though. It should be relatively alright, I reckon. I need to go all the way this way, apparently. Apparently I'm nowhere near that obelisk thing. Even though I said I was near the obelisk thing. Apparently I'm not. Which is obviously, uh... Oh, okay. I recognise the landscape now. Oh, I'm close than I thought I was still then. Do I recognise the landscape? Or am I just, uh... Bull cropping here? No, I recognise the landscape. That is, that is the flatlands... And I am right here. That's all good then. Let's land. Land's on the roof, shall we? Because that way uh, we can easily get higher then. 
I'm Kate Koki, so this should be, should be about 30 minutes now, so please click on links on your screen. The one on the left is to my channel. I do more review listed type content and a few Let's Plays. And the one on the other side is to the next ARC episode or another video on Aerial Heights. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to this video and this channel, and I will catch you next time, and hopefully we'll go find some crystal. Thank you very much. Goodbye.